Thank you for joining us. If you were here uh, for a previous video, you saw the importance of organizational culture to your organization. And I'm coming back today to talk to you a little bit about power. The way I'd like to talk about power, if I could, in terms of the uh, cultural elements, is I'd like to talk to it in terms of perception. What do employees see? What do managers see? And let's take power as an individual element. Power basically is, is how much influence power or those achievement, excuse me, the, uh, the high positional roles inside of an organization have. For instance, if you're a top manager and you insist on making all the decisions, uh, you're going to have a very high power culture. If you insist on moving everything down to the employee level, you're going to have a very low power culture. But let's talk more along the line about what's in it for managers and what's in it for employees. So up here at the very top on a high power culture, managers are on all the time. Which means that if you go on vacation and you decide that uh, you're not going to bring your phone, you're going to be in big trouble because people are going to need you to answer your phone. You're going to be on 24-7. You're going to be expected to have the right answers all the time. That's at a very high level in terms of, of power culture. How do employees, what's their perception of this? Their perception is, is that they're slow that they really can't make these decisions, so therefore you have to make them for them. In many cases, they feel much like children, um, unable to make their decisions about what they eat and what they wear on a daily basis. Now, if you take the other end of the spectrum and you come down here to the very lowest level in terms of power cultures, <clears throat> what you find over here from the manager's level is there's a, there's, they're wondering why, why they exist. Because many times they're thinking if, if, if there's no power, if there's no structure, so therefore they don't need those management positions. We all know the management positions are required. Organizations need their management structures. Uh, if, they're, if they're making decisions at a very high level and they're only making them at that level, you're going to get a very high power culture. Now for employees at this lower level, there's a real sense of empowerment. Now the, the good news is that empowerment is a nice word, but your organization isn't always ready for this level of empowerment for employees. So there, that requires a great deal of preparation and training. These people over here have to, these managers have to be able to uh, manage that group down there at the bottom. It takes much more time to make decisions, so you need more lead time inside of your process. So traditionally, when you find what organizations and managers want, is traditionally they want that power number to come down and they want the employee to make uh, many more decisions. Employees also want that same thing. They want that thing to come up. One of the big uh, dividing points in many organizations is this gap between how much is too much and how much you trust or don't trust your employees. So we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about role. This piece is very important and you'll find traditionally most organizations, most managers want less power. Most employees want less power for managers and want to make more decisions. Again, it takes preparation, it takes time, it takes energy. So come on back, join us again, uh, and we'll talk a little bit about role, um, and we'll see if we can't do the same thing in the role culture for you.